Okay, Zoe, my time to sweeten it all up. I'm going to do a gluten-free <laughs> meringue cake with all the trimmings, all the things that's going to make it nice and delicious. So if you're a gluten intolerant person, you're having this dessert, you're going to feel like you haven't missed out on a single thing. That's because you probably haven't, because it's full of sugar. <laughs> exactly, that's how we make up for it. Now what I've got in my uh, in my magic mix here, the patissier, I've got the uh, the stainless steel bowl, but inside I've got my whisk attachment here, okay. and I've got five egg whites that I've just whizzed around. It took about two minutes and became nice and light and fluffy. Yep. And now we add the fun bit, which is the uh, the icing sugar. I've got 280 grams of ice icing sugar and what I'm going to do is put about half of it in now and whisk it up and then as it's whisking up I'll add the rest of it nice and gra gradually. On it goes, here we go, just on the side there like that, click that in and then all we do is press the button and we just watch that whiz around. So as it whizzes around we'll just keep adding icing sugar. So look at that. Cool, thank hand you. it over to you. It's all nice and fluffy, nice shine to it. Oh, it does fit. Now, is it the oh. icing sugar that's giving it that shine? Yeah, the icing sugar with the egg white becomes nice and shiny when the two are uh, blended together. Now, I'm just going to use my spatula to get this in the bowl. Look at that. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> uh, it is, it is. It's, I mean, the egg white doesn't really taste like much, no. does it? You know, and you put a whole lot of sugar in there, yeah. it's ready to go. Yeah. There's nothing low GI about this one, let me assure you, everybody. Well, it's you need energy, you know? You're not getting the energy from uh, from gluten, so you need it in the uh, <laughs> in your dessert, don't you? There we go. That's the way you got around that one, I see. I like it. Now, I've got, a little, I've got a little bit of vanilla paste here, about a, a tablespoon of vanilla paste. You could use a vanilla pot if you want. And what I'm going to do is just swirl it through just a little bit like this. Pretty. There we go. Oh, such a strong smell, that vanilla bean. It is. Now, I've got mm. two trays here, and what I'm going to do is just put a little bit on each tray here, and I'll smooth it around. So hopefully I'll get the right amount. There we go. There's one, two, and then three. Just the right amount so I can get these four layers. You could, of course, just make two layers if you want, but I'm thinking we get a nice big stack. We're going to make this nice and luscious. Lots of things in there. And I've left lots of uh, meringue in the bowl there, just in case you feel inclined to just sort of run your finger around and have a little taste. Vanilla mm. chocolate, dark chocolate, maybe not this one. There we go. Give that a bit of a swirl around. We want to level it out and get them about the same sort of size. But really, if it's one's a little bit bigger than the other, don't worry too much about it because we'll just fix it all up with cream and berries. <laughs> Look at that. Swirl that around. It looks great, doesn't it? There we go. Another swirl. There's a, I know you want to lick that spoon, but not on camera, obviously. This will go into the oven at 120 degrees Celsius and it'll take about an hour and a half. And when okay. it's finished, just turn the oven off and let them stay in there so they stay nice and crisp on the outside. You won't get a lot of colour from it, but it'll make sure it's nicely cooked all the way through and nice bit of meringue around the outside. Into the oven they go. I am so excited now. I've got all my favourite ingredients in front of me. Sugar and egg white uh, icing sugar. It's just ready to go. I've got cream whipped up. Look at that. I've got chocolate that's melted. I like this. I've got I like this. Coolie and cherries. And I've even got a bit of liqueur that I'm going to put into the coolie here. A little bit okay. of cherry liqueur from adult flavours. And I'm going to get you to spoon that around. Now, what I'm going to do is, with the cream, we're okay. going to make it like, like a full. So I'll get a little bit of this, um, get a little bit of this coolie and I'll put a couple of spoons mm, of it pretty. straight in here. Some are gorgeous. And you can see I've left all the raspberry seeds in there as well. Yeah. I love the crunch. Yeah. And I'm just going to fold it through just once, twice like that. And see how it sort of marks it? Yeah, it's, it's stunning. Great. It's great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to layer it all up. And this you can go crazy with like I do. Or you could probably do a leaner version, which is probably what you would do, Zoe. A leaner version. A leaner, I don't know how you could go lean with this. Do you mean like in the sense that it won't fall over? No, no, a leaner version <laughs> as in not as much of the goodness, the liquidy or the flavoursome goodness that I've got here. <laughs> There we go. I don't I, think you understand what lean means then. No, I don't. I've got no idea. <laughs> but having worked next to you for so long, I reckon I've got a few ideas of what it might be. So I put a little bit of cream on here. And what I'm going to do, Zoe, is with my palette knife, spoon it out to the edge. And I'm going to get your help here, Zoe. Okay. I've got some chocolate over there. I want you to grate some chocolate on there. And what I'll get you oh. to do is just put a couple of pieces, a couple of cherries around there and push them into the cream. There we go. That's your job. Thank now, you. Now, my job, I'll get another, a bit of this cooling and I'll just drizzle some more of it on top. We want it to sort of fall out of the side and look really sort of groovy. You know how we spoke about moderation? It was, a, you know, a couple of episodes ago, but 
Yeah, I you don't know. You keep pulling it's... out that word and I've got no <laughs> idea what it means. I went through the Richo Dictionary of uh, Culinary Terms and there was no uh... reference to the word moderation. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Here we go. Now, a bit of cream on there, smooth that around. I like that. We've gone way over the top here. This <laughs> is not something that anyone would do at home all the time, but, you know, for a birthday cake for someone special, drizzle some chocolate on there. Look at that, round wow. the side there. We're going a little bit crazy here, but we'll get some more. <laughs> Another layer on there, Zoe. Quick, some oh, cherries. No, I'm not fast enough, am I not? you got to work <laughs> fast. We've got some great... Cause got, because we want to eat this. But you can imagine if you've got a whole lot of kids around and one of the kids, you know, is gluten-free, has eaten... Uh, those yucky gluten-free cakes all the time and then you pull out one of these babies here and then you say, happy birthday, little Harry. Look what we've got for you. And he's going to be so happy. And Harry's mum goes, gee, thanks. Now my child is hyperactive for the next four hours. Well, you see, the kid becomes <laughs> sugar intolerant after that. There we go. A little bit more, a little bit more chocolate down more the cherries? side there. There we go. Some more cherries on there. Look at that. It's looking great. I mean, it's way over the top, but that's what cakes are all about. Can I just it's sometimes fruit. Like oh, if you will. We're going to put another layer on there, Zoe. We're oh, going. We're, we're going right to the end. We're going right to the top. So grab that last one there, pop it on top. I'll put a bit more <laughs> cream on the last bit of cream. <laughs> It's way over the top. It's like a skyscraper of sugar and oh, love. I'm just going with this now. This is actually quite funny. Yeah, push it, we're going to push it right over the edge here. There we go. I'll just put more of something. Look at that. It, looks, okay. it looks too understated. I think we need something else. There we go. Look what at, about the coolie? We'll put some more coolie on there. I know you want some more. There we go. Why not? Some chocolate okay. on there. Look at that. And this chocolate will set in a couple of minutes. There we go. A couple of drizzles on there. See? She's in it now. You've got it, Zoe, haven't Woo! you? There we go, you're in with it. Now we'll put a few more of these cherries on top so we know it's a cherry meringue gluten-free cake. A few more on there. You've got to admit, Zoe, that is a cracker of a cake, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> God. It's way over All the right, top. But you on. bring that down with some, uh, with, with some birthday candles in it and they're going to love it. In we go. Have a taste of that. Be careful we don't knock it over. Can you imagine knocking this over? It'd make an awful mess, wouldn't it? Mmm. Mmm. So beautiful. It's way over the top. You know, instead of being gluten-free, it's definitely not fun-free. I think it's a fantastic little cake. What do you think? You know what? It's very tasty. I mean, obviously, meringue, it's, you know, it's a classic sort of Aussie-type thing to do. But, Asian, I really don't think this is very responsible eating, but I love what we've done. And it is about showing people how, you know, they might have a dietary restriction, but it can still be heaps of fun. What's that word responsible mean? <laughs>